Oh, definitely. People are just now starting to get outside of their homes and actually be able to see the damage left behind by this storm. It's been light enough now for probably the last hour and a half or so for people to really start to move around. And this is what they are seeing when they come out of their homes. We're going to kind of walk you down the street because this is really as far as we've been able to get into the neighborhood, because like I mentioned earlier, we the police asked us to stay outside of the neighborhood until it was light enough that you could safely navigate it, because as you can see, there's a ton of debris. So take a look at some of these houses. You can see literally to the left. One is completely destroyed. This one missing the roof. You can see cars thrown into each other, really just showing the power of this storm. And as we come down this direction, we're also trying to stay out of the way, of course, for the crews that are working. They're trying to get that power back up because a lot of power lines are still on the ground right now. So they've been coming through and getting those power lines back up off of the ground so that they can start that power restoration project. Here is where a lot of these trees were covering the roadway, and this is really what they wanted to make sure was clear before people tried to navigate through here. Most people still choosing to walk because of the amount of debris. So they basically said they came through with a tractor. They cut these trees in half so they could then push them to the side. And I want to take you right over here to this tree because it is completely ripped out of the ground. And it really just shows you how strong this storm was. And notice that we're still calling it a storm at this point, tornado warn storm, because we have not gotten that confirmation from the National Weather Service just yet that a tornado did come through this area. However, we have seen some social media videos showing us that that appears to be the case. And people who we've talked to out here on the ground that went through it say they're pretty confident that that is what happened here. But again, just waiting for the National Weather Service to confirm all of the storms that we're out here. We've got 20 reports of tornadoes across Texas. One of those reports coming from here in Crockett, Texas. Fortunately, what we know so far as far as injuries and deaths go, no deaths as of now. That's according to the police chief. He says that they were going to re-examine in the morning once they could safely see and navigate beyond just right here along the roadway. You know, they were going to try to get back into these homes that maybe they weren't able to get to safely earlier. So hoping that number stays at zero. And then as far as those those that are injured, we know 16 people injured across Texas, three of those in and around Crockett. And when you see how strong this storm was, how big these trees are that were just snapped in half and thrown to the side like toothpicks, that is quite the realization that lives were not lost. And when you talk to the people who are out here who are waking up to their neighborhood looking like this, that's kind of the feedback they give you, that their stuff can be replaced. And of course, it's sad that their homes are virtually gone, but they're just glad that they are okay. And so far, as far as we all know, their neighbors are okay. So Brett, I'm going to toss this back to you. And like I said, we're just now kind of getting into this neighborhood to explore, but I'm sure there will be so many images to come throughout the day to really put, you know, a, a, a photo and mm -hmm. a video to all of these storms that came through this area. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.